Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. For the PC, of course, we're on part 22 of our series. Hooray! We're on Death March difficulty, and we're finishing up our treasure quests. Oh, at least I thought we were. This is the one that we want. So we have three left. I'm going to try to fit them in this video. So I'm going to pause and go to the right place. I guess I went to the main objective, which we don't want to do just yet. I want to finish up these, um, all these side quests. That's the way that I like to do it. Anyways, without further ado, let's do this. I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, we are arriving at this beach. That looks so nice. I wish that was where I was. Looks peaceful. So, we've got to find the sunken wagon. We've got something over here. Burn! <laughs> he blew up. <laughs> I love that effect. Well, this looks like a sunken wagon. We had one guy to fight. How funny is that? Look how blue that water is. Oh, that wasn't it. Where are you? I would have thought it was that red chest. You know what? Let's pop our killer whale potion. You can see clear in the water. And again, I am blind, so maybe my eyesight isn't uh, picking it up. like a little red freaking dot <laughs> Dude, some of these quests let's see This is the very edge. Hmm. I don't know. This one's got me stumped. Unless something we got in that one treasure chest, we have to read it. Let's check it out. No. Finding sunken wagon in the lake. All right, so this is definitely the sunken wagon. Unless this quest is going to glitch. I don't know. I don't like to presume the quest glitches. I did have, I think what? I think I've only had one ever glitch, and that was from uh, Hearts of Stone. I don't know if it's 
buried on any of these. Let me uh, pause the video and uh, just keep looking around here. Okay, I reloaded it, killed the guy, and uh, you know, this is definitely sticking out. I didn't see anything else. Yep, it must have glitched. We must, uh, uh, when I hit spacebar to pull everything out, it must have actually glitched. <laughs> so this quest can glitch. I hope this helps somebody out there that's like struggling with uh, getting this quest complete. So just reload um, and fight the guy again and it will work. Just be a little slower on the quick draw. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. All right, let me pause the video. We'll go to the next quest. See you there. Here we got some fighting. No, now let's not do anything rash. We'll see if the shield does eat the arrows like it says it will. Charge. Take it for a ride. Come on, use your bone arrow again. Let's see if it does. It did not eat the arrow. Said it would eat projectiles. Kill the corpse, Goblin! Starling Dragon! <laughs> he flopped. That is funny. I thought it was supposed to eat all the arrows. I have to look over my uh, skill list. That was a bonus of. Uh, yard and I thought on, it would eat the projectiles but anyways guys I'll see you back unless I come across any more fighting okay guys let's flip my character over so here's the quest that we're on second to last treasure quest for now the curse of Lanarian I guess or Carnarian Whatever. So we got to find the treasure hidden. I think it said cemetery. I don't remember now. It said I'm so enjoying this mage. Not a cemetery. Well, I guess it could be. We got Mr. Wolf over here. You'd think it's in one of these pits. I see something. We got some armor schematics. All right, since we know there's some wolves, you know how annoying they are. Um, this mage build is very effective against boars, too. Hi, okay, Mr. Wolf, I know you're here. Can blow up. Look at that. Look how effective just grouping them. If they're burnable. Some some enemies are immune to burning, but this still hits them very hard. Alright, let me uh, pause the video while we go to our last treasure hunt. I will of course unpause with any monster fighting. See you guys there. I hear something. Whoa. Mr. Panda or Panther. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Damn, those things are quick. <laughs> Mr. Kitty. Here, Roach. There you are. 
Yeah, I know. That would have scared me too. Alright, I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, I hear a dragon. an acid one too. Burn! Oh, he blew up. We just pooped all over him. That's hilarious. Oh, look at the birds over there. They're acting all weird. When I walked up here, he's like, damn, something's seriously wrong here. So, something's going on. Looks like we're here. Hello. Oh. Um, speaking of which, there's our last treasure quest. You guys can read that per normal. And here we are in relation to the map. There must be a um, uh, marker somewhere. I hadn't found it yet when I was running through, but closest one was up here, which I didn't want to warp to because it takes a while to crawl down. But, uh,. The other one is right here, and that's where we actually came from. I've been here, and this place does look familiar. Find a way to reenact the scene using your witcher senses. Need to backtrack along her prints, then light the candles in the same order she did. Is that really the treasure quest? Figure out the order. Okay. Ooh, something's over there. What the hell is that? You guys heard that too, right? Oh, there's a marker. We found it. Nice. Is that a vampire? What is that? What the hell are you? Was oh, that a swamp hag? You know, the, uh, from The Witcher 3, the original one, where you first meet a swamp hag, you, or, I don't know if the first two did. Right. You guys uh, know what they were, uh, one of the Witcher hunts when you actually met one, what it was doing. It was digging up the corpses in the local village grave and eating them, and then it got brave and started eating the, um, the little kids of the village, boiling them alive. It was pretty gross. Wait a minute here. All right, came in here. Let's see, footprints. Are they going out or in? All right, go here, walk across, then over here, then over here, then there. I guess that's the order. Footprints must be leading this way, but they kind of look like they're walking away. Well, it's one or the other. And then over here. And then over here. Some satanic ritual? What is this? Backwards, I bet. Yeah, it must be this one first. Yeah, they do look like they're walking this way now. I knew they looked like they might have been uh, leaving that way, but it's weird she started over there. 
That's where they put the footprints, I mean. Come on. Light it, Geralt. Win some, you lose some, right? Death March difficulty was so hard, but once you get the Grandmaster armor and you actually do a viable build, um, it's very easy. Now to drink. What are we drinking here? Finish these scene. By drinking wine? Alright, what do we go in the middle here? I don't know if this is it right here, but there's some wine. She is definitely not vulnerable to fire. Keep those yard and signs up. Got skeletons. It's a skeleton army. They are really weak. Look at that. They just blow up. Burn, bitch. This was weird. Hmm. Pendant's a key. Could be a locked cubby around here somewhere. That was really cool, though. I, I couldn't damage her without oil, but why use oil when we've got badass flame? What level is this quest? 43? So where is this? I wonder if it's like under us. It says nearby. I don't see anything. Maybe it's up on top. It's not there. Just runes. Well, there is a door over here. I bet that's what it is. Where's that door? Oh, I remember this place. It's hidden in here. I actually have to go back in here. Okay, and it was locked. Let's see what we got here. Book, necklace. A ring. And armor. Super cool. Well, that at least made it interesting. And that's um, a fight against something that is pretty immune to fire. Um, you can burn them, but as you saw, the burning effect really didn't burn. It just 
did the initial uh, fire damage. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that nonetheless. And we're rocking our Grandmaster uh, Griffin gear. Might as well show off the uh, gear and what I chose to put in for runes and whatnot. Now, I, um, being a uh, mage, I didn't want to go any runes because none of them really looked good at all. Everything is for Igni. Um, so we have uh, sign intensity, three of the max stones in the bull swords. I guess I had uh, elemental oil on my sword. And you can see we have the top gl um, glyphs for the armor. And again, they are all Igni. There you go. Everything else is the same. Um, yeah. So I'm still working on a build. I don't have anything set in stone. What I want, so I'm not even going to bother showing the build since it's pretty dumb. I have three of the four... Um, mutagen slots unlocked, but I ran out of greater glyphs, so I couldn't um, I couldn't do any more. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. If you haven't been out to my channel yet, I'd love to have you go out there check it out. Um, if you like what you see, click that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. As always, later. <laughs>